sitting ducks. When someone says that others are sitting ducks, they mean that those others are defenseless, vulnerable, open to attack, just waiting to die. We've surrounded the enemy's position. They're sitting ducks, a military commander might tell his soldiers. Maybe you're at a shareholder meeting. Our share price is stagnant and we haven't had a hit product for years. We're sitting ducks for a takeover. Don't keep all your money and cards in your wallet. You're a sitting duck for pickpockets in this city, a friend who is showing you around London might tell you. As you can see, a sitting duck is a person or an organization that is unprotected, exposed, unguarded, wide open for exploitation. Easy pickings. The idiom sitting ducks originates with bird hunting and references the fact that it is easier to shoot a bird sitting on land or water than it is to bag one that is flying around. John Hanna the Stack Exchange notes that the idiom was popularized during World War II via British and American soldiers describing targets that were easy to hit and hard to defend as sitting ducks, sitting birds, or sitting pigeons. In the decades following the end of the war, Sitting ducks came to be used to describe everyday competitors and opponents rather than situations in which shooting would literally happen. In the literal sense of the idiom, hunters are the ones that take advantage of sitting ducks, but in reality a sitting duck might be harmed by other people or by circumstances. In your own life, you definitely don't want to be a sitting duck, and this is not just limited to competitive situations such as sports or games. You wouldn't want to be a sitting duck in terms of your job or field of expertise. This happens if you fail to continuously update and upgrade your skills. You also wouldn't want to be a sitting duck in terms of personal skills or hobbies. This happens if you aren't always learning or aren't educating yourself. I'm a manager, but without this certificate, I'm a sitting duck if there are layoffs due to this recession, a colleague might be telling you at the water cooler. Perhaps you're at a paintball tournament. Look, those guys are hiding there but don't know that we're behind them. They're sitting ducks. Attack! You need to hang your bird feeder higher. Otherwise, it's a sitting duck for squirrels. Your grandpa might be sharing some of his gardening knowledge. So, the next time someone or a group of people have left themselves open to attack, vulnerable, exposed, impotent, weak, don't forget to call them sitting ducks.